Hello, welcome back to my channel and welcome to an Audi food shop haul. I thought I'd start filming now. I'm just about to go collect the food shop. If you didn't know already, Audi do click and collect. And I'm starting the video now because the weather is awful. As Lee Evans would say, it's that really wet rain and I'm gonna look like Hagrid when I get back. So yeah, I'll see you when I've got my food shop. I'm back and here it all is. Well, I say all, but there was definitely some substitutions, but we will get onto that. So I'll run you through everything and then we'll do my meal plan towards the end. You might be wondering why someone who loves cereal as much as me has one measly box. Aldi has the worst cereal selection. This is the thing that puts me off Aldi, is I can't just get everything at Aldi. But these are actually nice. I think they're better than Cheerios. Duck and chicken sushi. A selection of cheeses. You've got the Greek salad cheese, mature cheddar, and whatever that says. <laughs> These nuts. Aldi do the best value for money when it comes to cashew nut. Greek style natural yogurt. I got two of these for the pancake mixture I make, which I've been making into like oat cakes. Vanilla extract, again, for the homemade pancake oat recipe. Six pink lady apples. I can't actually eat any other apples since I've had these. Cucumber, 12 eggs. I missed having the chickpeas in my cupboard, so I got some more. If you know, then you know. Ho, 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 Merry Christmas. <laughs> Hi, it's me, Father Christmas. I'm just interrupting the food hall for a collaboration with da, 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 cherries. There's there's nothing in this box. It's all on the side, but we'll get to that. I can't take myself seriously. <laughs> if you've never heard of cherries before, they are an app. Load the demo. And I actually think they're the most aesthetically pleasing shopping app I've ever seen. Just gonna say it. It's kind of like laid out how Instagram is. I don't know why, for someone that's very visual, it, it just pleases me and I find it really easy to shop on there. There's loads of different categories and obviously, if you haven't guessed, there's a Christmas section and I've got loads of little Christmas goodies over there to show you. They're constantly adding new things all the time. After I ordered all this, I went back on and saw more Christmas stuff that I want to order. Let me tell you, when this box comes, it feels like Christmas. It's basically a really affordable shopping app. You've got organisation, home, cleaning. That's what I like it for. Like all your cleaning bits, I just restock up. Christmas stuff, stationery. Hair care, the lot. You name it, Cheers is good at Zerlin. Oh, and food, hence it being in a food shopping hall. And the best part about it is it's all delivered to your door, so you don't even have to leave the house. I'm gonna shut up and show you what I got, but the Cherries app will be linked below, and my code is MOB25 for 25% of your first order if you've never shopped on Cherries before, so for new customers. And then if you already have a Cherries customer, use a code MOB for MOB. My MOB, you're my MOB. <laughs> For free shipping on your next three orders. But links will be below. Everything's in the description below. Okay, let's, let's get on with the whole. Obviously, this number is from Cherries if you want to dress up as Father Christmas. The first thing I got from the Christmas section is a free pack of tea towels. Have yourself a cosy little Christmas. How cute. There's this one. And then another one with the cosy Christmas. And then I thought these were so cute. So they're for your cutlery. Should I do it now? How adorable is that? So that would sit on your table making it look all festive. I think I'm going to have these out on Christmas Eve. I'm not sure what I'm going to use these for, but... I got these little Santa pegs. It's not Christmas until you get a Christmas selection box. Got two of them, and yes, I started eating that one. That wasn't part of the plan. I love a stag at Christmas, so I got this little rose gold one. I love having a Christmas candle as soon as December hits. Got this Unwrap the Magic Yankee candle. And then this one, which I'm not even joking, my whole kitchen smells of this right now. It's Glade Ginger Oh So Nice. I swear gingerbread candles always smell so nice and strong you're never too old for an advent calendar and i usually always forget to get one but now i have mine all prepped and ready to go so this is the christmas food that i meant to not touch and obviously so far i've not done very well fox's santa biscuit selection nothing says christmas like toblerone i don't actually like toblerone this is a gift for someone i got nutella because in my christmas planner video i mentioned that i want to do one of those nutella christmas trees so this is what that's for. These always make me think of Christmas. So I got the mint chocolate and the orange chocolate. And then I got some quality streets. I thought I'd either have these as my Christmas chocolates or a stocking filler for someone. How adorable is this? I've always wanted one of these. It lights up. I haven't got any batteries in it, otherwise I would show you. 
They had a few different versions of this, but this one was my favourite. So they've got a gift selection on the app, and I got this Pampa Hampa. It comes with all of those masks, and they're in this little felt box. This could make a cute gift for one of my little sisters. Got a four pack of dairy milk. Might have ate two already. These Rivita cracker breads, these are so nice. Some garlic mayo. Who decided to make cereal landscape? And are all cereal brands gonna do this now? Anyway, yeah, got some Rice Krispies. I've always wanted to try these. These are the glass straws. One of those battery packs. Got one of these from Cherries before, but it's one of those cork fairy lights. So you put this in a bottle. Go with my scrub daddy. I got a scrub mummy. These are really good. Two packets of the Dishmatics. Some bathroom wipes, which I just use anywhere. Dove soap. Bin bags. A sink snake because I just have no luck. The amount of time I've had a block sink is not even normal. Fire cow, I love this stuff. Two bottles of bleach. This Astonish fabric spray it smells so good. The Nor crease release. I hate ironing. I actually have a steamer, and this I feel if it works will be really really good. And then the Dr Beckman stain remover. And then lastly, I've got this microfiber drying mat. I do have a microfiber mat that I place next to my sink for my cutlery, but sometimes when I haven't done my washing up and I've got loads, this would just be really handy. So when I've got too much, I can use this. And that is everything I got from Cherries. Don't forget to use my code. Links will be below. Back to the food shop haul. Three tins of baked beans. This is where I'm good for Aldi because I'm not bothered about Heinz. Hovis bread, courgettes. Sweet potatoes. I got some red potatoes. I don't know why, but I prefer these. Baby spinach. Sage and onion stuffing. Rainbow carrots. Spring onion. Mixed peppers. A bag of onions. Garlic. Baby chestnut mushrooms, which is for a meal from my five ingredients Jamie Oliver book. Are you getting sick of it yet? This is the meal I'm going to be making. I didn't get this funky pasta though. Where can I buy that? It's a garlic mushroom pasta. And if you want to make it as well, screenshot now. I'm absolutely loving pasta at the moment. The next thing I put on my meal plan was wing it pasta meals. I'm loving just playing around with making pasta sauces and chucking it all together and just seeing what it gets me. So I can't actually give you any recipes, but they're normally vegetarian. I just chuck a load of stuff in and wing it. I got a lot of tomatoes. So I got two packs of these ones. Some baby plum tomatoes and cherry tomatoes. The idea for these was homemade tomato soup. I found a recipe on TikTok. So if I can, I'll link that below. A pack of tender stem broccoli, parsnips. I like having frozen veg in the freezer just in case. So I got broccoli and cauliflower. And a couple of things they didn't have in stock. Did I say substitutions? Because I haven't got any substitutions. I just didn't get it. And one of them was a mixed bag of frozen peppers and butternut squash. I can never get frozen butternut squash, ever. In, every time I've ordered it, never get it. These white baguettes are for the homemade soup that I saw on TikTok. couple of bags of fresh pasta. I love fresh pasta and I've bought it ever since I realised that the sell by date is actually really good. So I got two of these and then one taglatelli. Aldi's fresh pasta bags are really nice and they're really generous with the amount they give for the price. And then I got some dried spaghetti. I do have spaghetti in my cupboards but I tried fresh spaghetti in my last food shop haul and I didn't like it. I prefer this. I'm not sure why. Something about it, I just wasn't a fan. So a lot of these will be for the just random pasta dishes I make. And then I did kind of slate these and was like, no, I make my own pasta dishes. I don't need no pre-made stuff. But for the lazy days, for the rush days, I thought, you know what, it's good to have. And these are so nice. And I've put wraps in the dinner section because I like doing rice just mixed with a random load of vegetables and then if you put it in a wrap with some cheese it's a nice dinner and it's quite quick some creme fraiche which was for the garlic and mushroom pasta two of the fresh double cream if you watch my instagram stories you already know what i'm going to say it's my duty at this point to tell everyone because i feel scammed and you might too so this cream there's got to be someone out there like i already knew that 
I'm smarter than you. You are. Yeah, because I'm clearly stupid along with like 70% of people that follow me on Instagram. So I did a poll. This isn't cream. I understand it doesn't state that it's cream, but I feel like to. I feel betrayed because for years I assumed it was cream. And I think that most people thought it was cream because the one place you're going to get corrected on is YouTube. And I put my last food shop haul and I was like, and I got some cream and no one said, uh, no it isn't. Basically I was cooking and I picked it up and I looked it and I was like, hang on, there's nowhere on this that it says it's cream. So I looked at the ingredients and it's not cream it's buttermilk and a load of random oils i ain't happy about it darlings i managed to get my hands on some chili jam it's jalapeno chili jam so i don't know how different it is from the one i was originally wanting but in my jamie oliver five ingredients book that i don't stop going on about there is this egg fried rice recipe that i've always wanted to try but could never find chili jam and i've officially found it so i will be making this egg fried rice at some point two boneless cod fillets and that has just reminded me where is my salmon aldi where's my salmon it's not in the basket i'll stand corrected it looks like i'm going to sainsbury's for some salmon because i'm also making a fish cake i've made it a few times before it's really good it's a bbc food one i'll link it below cod fillets with a creamy parsley sauce this is really nice with mashed potato and veg it's from their ready set cook range i like these because they're fresh but pre-prepped and again good for when you're in a rush i'm not a fan of frozen food i normally stick to frozen vegetables only but these lamb shanks are really good i might have made them drunk in a video once that picture there is literally how i will have it they're an absolute bargain as well 10 out of 10 recommend as usual two melt in the middle fish cakes improved recipe we'll see about that aldi i usually have these literally just with some vegetables a large chicken which i had in mind to cook a roast dinner with and that is why i got the stuffing and the little carrots and the parsnips why does this chicken look particularly army when i look at that chicken this is what i see usually they're like this not like <laughs> Diced beef, I thought I could do a nice slow cooker meal. Again, I could use the parsnips or the carrots for that. Like a stew type dish. And then the last meal, which I forgot to get some of the ingredients for and some I've already got, is this butter chicken curry. I've already got chicken breast, but I forgot to get some chilies. Here's the recipe. And this is in the Jamie Oliver Seven Ways book. I'll link this below as well as this one too and that's probably why i got the second yogurt thinking about it that is everything before i get onto the price get your guesses ready comments below ah. oh my god oh no that's so embarrassing the amazon man he probably just heard me as i was saying i'll just run you through what i didn't get and then i will tell you how much it costs they had no white chocolate chips for my oat cakes they also didn't have any dijon mustard so i need to go get that oh i'm sad about this one cherry tomatoes with italian and mozzarella and then just the frozen veg i spoke about not too bad so i need to get the things i forgot some cereal and like branded yogurts and stuff that i would usually get from sainsbury's and then to the price now i'm not gonna lie I don't know if I just got less this time, but wow. I paid £69.81. I'll link everything below, including all the details for cherries and all the meals I've mentioned. I shall see you in my next video. Comment below what food shop you want me to do next. See you later. Goodbye. Thanks for watching. Much appreciated. Bye. Oh, and of course, give the video a thumbs up, subscribe, put the bell on, and I'll see you in my next one. Ciao.